good morning students let me continue arithmetic progression so fill in the blanks it is given it is in ap then if a is the first term and d is the common difference and an is the nth term in that a is given as 7 b is given as 3 n is 8 and you must find out an so now you know the formula an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d Okay, so what is n? A. So a eight is equal to a is seven. N is eight minus one, and b is three. So seven plus what is eight minus one? Very good, seven into three. So seven plus seven three is a twenty one. So a eight is twenty. 21 plus 7 is 28. Okay? Understood? Yes. Next. Nice. The second one fill in the blanks is it is given A is minus 18. B you should find out. N is 10. And A N is 0. It is given. So let me substitute again. You know the formula. An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into T. Okay. An is 0. A is minus 18. N is 10 minus 1 into D. I don't know D. So, minus 18 plus what is 10 minus 1? 90. Yes, very good. Now, transpose minus 80 to this side. So, 0 plus 80 is equal to 90. What is 0 plus 18? 18. So, 18 is equal to 90. B is equal to 80 by 9. Yes, very good. 9 to the so, what is D now? D is equal to 2. Okay? Now, the third sum, let me write. A you should find out. B is minus 3. N is 18. A N is minus 5. Okay? Substitute now. An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. What is An? Yes, minus 5. A plus N is D is minus 3. So, minus 5. A plus 18 minus 1 is? Yes, very good. 17 into minus 3. So, minus 5 is equal to A plus plus into minus minus 17 3 is a 51. Very good. Now, you transpose minus 51 to the other side. So, when you transpose minus 51 to the other side, what it will become? Very good. Plus 51. So what is A? 51 minus 5. Two different sign. Subtract and put the greater number sign. So what is 51 minus 5? 51 minus 5 is 46. So A is 46. Okay. A is 46. So, let me move on to the next one. Find out 
let me see you know the formula an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into b so an is 3.6 a is minus 18.9 plus n i don't know b is 2.5 okay that 3.6 is equal to Minus eighteen point nine plus two point five into n is yes two point five n minus into plus is minus two point five. Okay, that three point six is equal to. See these two are again same sign minus. So when two are having same signs, what you will do? Add and put the same sign. So minus eighteen point nine two point five. Yes, you tell me. So B one twenty one point four. Any 
number multiplied by zero, you will get zero. So a n is equal to p n. So you want a n. A n is p n. Understood now? Yes. Let us move on to the second main. First main we have completed. Let us move on to the second. So in the option you must correct which is the correct option and you must for that you must justify means you must give a clear the signature. Okay? Yes. So let us see only the AP. Okay. So 30th term. So I should find 30th term. What is A? 10. What is D? 7 minus 10. Two different sign. Subtract and put the greater number sign. So, 7 minus 10 means 10 minus 7, 3. Where 10 is having the negative sign. So, I have put minus 3. Okay. D is minus 3. Again, 4 minus 7. Minus 3. Okay. So, you know the formula. An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. What is here? A 30. A is 10. Again, N is 30 minus 1 into minus 3. D is minus 3. So, 10 plus 30 minus 1 is 29 into minus 3. So 10 plus into minus minus 3 nines are 27, 2 carry, 3 twos are 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. So 10 minus 8 is 7. Again, two different sign, subtract and put the greater number sign. So what is 87 minus 10? 77. Greater number sign is? So, A30 is minus 77. So, in which option it is there? Yes. C is equal to minus 77 is the correct answer. Understood now? In that one more sum is given. Let me do that. 11th term of the AP minus 3 minus half 2 is See in this sum, 11th term of the AP is, so A11 you should find out, A is the first term minus 3, D is the common difference, so second term minus of first term, so minus of, minus into minus is plus 3, what is 3 minus of, very good, 200. Now, let me know. A yet is equal to. A plus N minus 1 into D. That is the form. You understood this? If you don't understood, second term minus first term. So, second term. 
5 by 2. 2 2 is a 4, 4 plus 1, 5 by 2. 2 and half is nothing but 5 by 2. So now a n, so 11th term I should point out. a is minus 3, then 11 minus 1 into b is, which one? 2 and half, that is 5 by 2. 2 and half is nothing but 5 by 2. Isn't it? Yes. So minus 3 plus, what is 11 minus 1? 10. Very good. 2 fives are 10. So minus 3, 5 fives are 25. What is 25 minus 3? 22. So which is correct? Yes. Understood now? Yes? Shall we move on to the next one? So you know it is in the form of A1, A2, A3. Okay. The terms are A1, A2 and A3. So what is A1? A1 is nothing but A. Isn't it? So A is equal to, A1 is equal to 2. So what about A2? We don't know. Isn't it? Then what is A3? A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus N minus 1 into D. So that is A plus 3 minus 1 is 2D. 3 minus 1 is 2D. So A3 is given as 26. So now you know A is 2, isn't it? It is given first term is 2. So A is 2. Substitute here. A plus 2D is equal to 26. So 2 plus 2D is equal to 26. 2D is equal to 26 plus 2 when you move to that side it will become minus. 2D is equal to 24. So what is D? 24 by 2. 12. Okay. So in the AP only common difference differs, isn't it? If the common difference is same only, you can say it is an AP. So if 2 and 12 it is. If you add 12 to it, 14. 14 plus 12 is 26. Okay. Otherwise, if you want to find out A2, A plus 2 minus 1 into D. So A plus 2 minus 1 is 1D. So what is A2? What is D? 12. 2 plus 12 is 14. So A2 is Understood? Yes? Let me move on to the next two. Now you find. So it is A1, A2, A3, A4. Isn't it? So A1 you don't know. What is A2? 13. What is 
a two, a plus two minus one into d, n minus one into d. So that is a plus b is equal to fourteen. Then a four is given three. A plus n minus one, n is four. Thank you students.